Hi, it's Katrina. Survival is a challenge for even the toughest creatures in the animal kingdom, and it's definitely not always pretty. From cunning packs to sneaky ambush loners, here are eight of Africa's greatest predators. Number 8. African Golden Wolf The African Golden Wolf looks a lot like the Eurasian Golden Jackal, so people assumed they were the same. In 2015, scientific research confirmed that the African Golden Jackal is actually a genetically distinct wolf species, and it has officially been renamed the African Golden Wolf, although the term has been slow to catch on. Many people still call it the Golden Jackal or Egyptian Jackal. This reclassification of this animal might not seem like much, but it now brings up the total number of living dog species from 35 to 36. It might just go to show that you can hide a wolf as long as it's in jackal's clothing. Wish I could take credit for this joke, but it's from Science Magazine. Regardless, the animal is an opportunistic omnivore with cunning hunting skills. Sure, these cat-like dogs will snack on things like berries, grass, and fruit, but they also eagerly go after birds, reptiles, and small mammals, like antelopes. They hunt most successfully in pairs and are less likely to take down prey when prowling alone, especially if the animal is large or has offspring to protect. Working together, they stalk their targets, such as gazelle fawns, in places where they're likely to be hidden, such as tall grass and bushes. By hunting cooperatively, African golden wolves are capable of taking down prey more than three times their own size. Instead of killing the target, they rip the belly open while the animal is still alive and begin feasting on its entrails. Smaller prey are usually shaken to death. Like some of the other animals that I'm going to tell you about, African golden wolves are not above picking over a meal left behind by another animal or even going through garbage dumpsters. Good thing is, they play a very important role in their ecosystem. They're also known to take away more food than they can eat in one sitting, probably for a snack later on. Number 7. Spotted Hyena Many people think spotted hyenas are simply scavengers, but they hunt and kill at least 90% of their food and may be Africa's most ruthless killer. They prey primarily on small antelope but occasionally target larger animals such as wildebeest. Hyenas also hunt lion cubs, snatching them from their dens while the adults are off hunting. They have almost no fear. Despite being one of Africa's smallest carnivores, these alpha predators possess numerous advantages that make them skilled hunters. On average, a hyena weighs less than half as much as an African lion, but their hearts are twice the size, giving them immense stamina. The hyena's front legs are longer than its back legs, enabling it to run fast and for long periods, sometimes for hours. They also have superior hearing, hence their large ears, enabling them to detect the sounds of their prey from over two-thirds of a mile away. Their hunting strategy involves chasing their target until it collapses from exhaustion, without an actual attack occurring. The ensuing feeding frenzy begins while the unfortunate animal is still alive. Spotted hyenas also steal food from other predators, including lions. They tend to avoid adult male lions, but will eagerly chase a group of smaller lionesses away from a recent kill, and are often very successful at doing so. The lions do the work, and the hyena gets the reward. Number 6. African Lion Speaking of the lions, African lions are fierce hunters who are skilled at taking down bigger animals due to their superior strength. Males are extremely powerful, but are bulkier and therefore less agile than females. Their manes also cause them to overheat quickly while chasing after prey. For those reasons, and to preserve their strength for fighting other male lions, the hunting is generally left to the ladies of the pride. The males are quick to help when it's necessary though, especially when it comes to taking down bigger prey such as buffalo. Females usually hunt together in highly coordinated and efficient groups of five or six, with each lioness performing a specific role. They inflict a quick death, usually by suffocation. In Botswana's Okavango Delta, lions have been observed hiding in shallow water among the reeds until an animal approaches for a drink. Then they explode out of the water and swiftly take down their target. Lions in part of East Africa can climb trees where they wait to pounce onto an unsuspecting animal that passes below. Surprisingly, lions hunting alone by daylight only have a success rate of 17 to 19 percent. 
When they hunt in groups, it goes up to 30%. Males usually receive the lion's share of the meal unless the females are hunting far from their pride and must eat the kill to maintain their energy. Typically, females and cubs eat after the males satisfy their hunger. And now for number five. But first, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And big thank you to Lauren Wood, who not only looks forward to these videos, which makes my day, but also got her husband hooked. Thanks, Lauren. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell and join us. Number five, Ruppel's Griffin Vulture. Before you say it, I know, vultures are technically scavengers, but their feeding habits are often misunderstood, making them worthy of an honorable mention. These birds play a crucial part of the ecosystem in Africa, cleaning up and recycling dead animals. Rappel's griffin vultures feed almost exclusively on carrion, or the decaying flesh of dead animals. Contrary to popular belief, they do not only eat the leftovers from other predators. They primarily go after animals that died from old age, injury, or who were stillborn. Occasionally, they eat the remainder of a lion's feast. Rappel's griffin vultures rely on their eyesight alone to find food, soaring through the sky at high altitudes for up to seven hours a day. They have a recorded altitude of 36,000 feet, about the same altitude as a commercial airplane, and will travel for 90 kilometers looking for food and nesting sites. They eat by sticking their head under the dead animal's body in search of meat. The head and neck contain few feathers, specifically to minimize the potential messiness of the meal. A large meal can feed a vulture for up to four days. Perhaps the vulture's most amazing feature is its ability to consume rotten meat without getting sick, including flesh that is infected with diseases like botulism and cholera. Its stomach kills off the bacteria during the digestion process. Sadly, these birds are critically endangered. Number four, the cheetah. The cheetah is the fastest land animal in the world, reaching a running speed of up to 62 miles per hour, or 100 kilometers, in just a few seconds. It lacks strength and stamina, however, and cannot maintain its speed for long distances, requiring it to run in short bursts. To make up for what it lacks, the cheetah is a master of camouflage and can stalk its prey very closely before going in for the kill. It typically sneaks up on its target by belly crawling very stealthily until it spots an opportune moment to attack. The cheetah suffocates its prey by clamping its jaws down on the animal's throat. Cheetahs have an average hunting success rate of around 50%. Once the kill is complete, it eats very quickly to avoid having its meals scavenged by bigger predators. These brisk big cats eat mostly small mammals, such as antelope, but also go after livestock, causing humans to sometimes see them as pests. As a result, the cheetah population has been greatly reduced. Survival is tough for cheetahs, who are considered Africa's most fragile apex predator. They're vulnerable due to their solitary status, and it's very difficult for mothers to protect their cubs, especially from bigger, stronger cats or packs of animals who are capable of outnumbering her and her little ones. For these reasons, around 70% of cheetah cubs do not survive into adulthood. Number three, the Nile crocodile. The Nile crocodile is a freshwater species that can be found throughout 26 African countries, including virtually every river on the continent and in many of its lakes. It is Africa's largest freshwater predator. In other words, if you go on safari, watch out. These massive reptiles are naturally very aggressive and do not hesitate to attack. These ruthless hunters kill their prey by dragging them underwater, which isn't hard for them to do. In case you haven't noticed, crocodiles have razor-sharp teeth that sink deeply into flesh, and they are also equipped with an incredibly strong set of jaws that are nearly impossible to loosen. They are capable of clamping down their terrifying chompers for extended periods of time, plenty long enough to drown prey. Nile crocodiles also sometimes suffocate their prey by rolling their massive bodies over the animal repeatedly. In addition to being incredibly large and strong, these reptiles are fast. Even swift prey cannot escape once a crocodile has set its sights on the target. Humans are just as susceptible to being attacked as any other creature. Nile crocodiles kill about 1,000 people annually. Most people are attacked along lake shores and riverbanks as they wash or collect food, and fishermen are no safer. See, it's not sharks we should be worried about. Crocodiles are 100 times deadlier. Number two, leopards. Leopards are solitary hunters whose elusive nature helps them thrive. They feed on smaller mammals like baboons and antelope, but are known to eat creatures as tiny as mice and as big as baby giraffes. 
Instead of chasing its prey, a leopard will stealthily stalk its target, waiting for the right moment to pounce. It holds the victim's mouth and nose closed, resulting in a quick and clean kill. I guess. Being a lone hunter comes with disadvantages, as evidenced by the tendency for lions and hyenas to chase leopards away from their kill. To counter this, the leopard will carry its prey up into a tree where it can eat in peace and without the threat of scavengers. These impressively strong big cats are capable of hoisting animals larger than themselves up into the canopy. They have about a 38% hunting success rate, which goes down to about 28% for a female with cubs. Their skin and body parts are highly desired in many parts of the world, and there are only about 12,000 to 14,000 leopards left in the wild. Number 1. African Painted Dog Humans have historically despised wild dogs and have persecuted them to near extinction in some parts of Africa. The dogs were considered threatening to domestic livestock, causing many farmers to poison or shoot any they came across. They earned this reputation partially because of their impressive hunting skills. Wild dogs are instinctive hunters who operate with military-like precision in packs of up to 30. These coordinated hunts have about an 80% success rate. Power comes in numbers for these dogs, who become far less efficient in groups of less than six members. Once the pack chooses a target, the chase is on for half the pack. The rest of the pack lingers behind as a backup in case the front runners become tired. As the chasers approach the animal, they fan out, enabling them to attack from both the back and the sides. Eventually, the animal being chased collapses from exhaustion, and the dogs disembowel it and chow down. It's very rare for a pack of wild dogs to fail at seizing their prey, and the kill is pretty gory and bloody. Once the attack happens, the wild dogs become vulnerable to other predators who may smell the blood and try to chase them away from the kill, so they eat quickly. Mothers feed their cubs when they return to their dens by regurgitating some of their food. In some cases, the African painted dog only hunts what it intends to eat. People have started realizing this in recent years, but the animal is at such high risk for extinction, this understanding may have come too late. Thanks for watching! Were you surprised by these hunting success rates? Which predator is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below! Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time! Bye!